sun in my morning and my sky above. Good morning, welcome back to Breakfast Television. Uh, coming up on BT, we're going to talk a little bit about the Red Cross Day of Pink. You're going to see lots of pink all over the place today. That's right, we're sporting it. Especially in kids' schools. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, the day against bullying. We're going to talk about exactly about where this all came from and how it's being recognized and how we're trying to end bullying in our schools. And it doesn't matter if uh, you're not participating in a school program or event, you can wear pink anyway, just show your support that way. Exactly. Redcross.ca slash day of pink is where you go to find any information on the subject. And uh, also we're talking about nails today and how yep. to glam them up for spring, the difference between a shellac and a regular polish. We're gonna go in and visit Jerry's salon in Day Salon. Decisions, decisions! When it comes to spring, your nails can act as the perfect accessory to any outfit. We're at Jerry's Hair Salon and Day Spa taking a look at colors and trends for the season. All right, Kiki, we hear a lot about permanent polish or shellac versus traditional polish. What exactly is shellac? What's the difference? Yes, yeah, shellac actually is a polish, but the difference is uh, shellac can stay 14 days, no cheap, and the mirror shine and no dry time, zero dry time. So when you finish the shellac, uh, apply the shellac and it dry right away. But shellac needs to cure the um, under the UV lights, so Kim is going to demonstrate the color, how to apply. This is our uh, shellac new color, new collection called Sweet Dreams. Very Those nice. Colors. So you're painting yes. it just the same as traditional polish, Yes. but then you actually cure it under a UV, UV light. light. Yeah. Then people probably would think of what's different compared to gel nail. Right? right? Yeah, because uh, shellac provide very shine looking, and gel nails give you the shine looking too. But gel nail, you need to file down, so it will damage your nail plate. Oh. But shellac, no damage on your nail plate. It's removed by nourishing removal from C and D. It's really good. It's easy, 10 minutes to remove, and so, no file down your nail plate. So there is a product to actually remove it, because that is a concern. A lot of people think that you do have to file it down, but you don't yes, at all. No, no, not for shellac. So that's why it's really com uh, popular now, yeah, especially no chipping, you know. Well, especially yes, no yeah. drying time. How often <laughs> yeah, have you sat so, around like this, waiting for your nails to be dry? This, you're in and out, and yes. rock solid. Even the winter time we do pedicure, they, they would choose a shellac, because they don't need to wait until dry. We wear boots, right? right. Right. So it's dry right away, then you can go. Okay, let's <laughs> talk really about good. colors for the season. Yes. We see here beautiful pastels. Yeah, so this is our new uh, new color, and uh, this, these four colors really nice for spring. You can you can tell it's really like a sweet dreams. Yes. Yes. It does and fit the name. Now it's most people like to do nail art as well, but we suggest sometimes make it simple nail art. Just put one color a little different and make other color go together. It's really classical. Yeah, yes. Kiki, this is a look that we seem to see everywhere these days. Yes. And no one really knows where it came from, but the idea of painting your ring finger, the fourth finger, yes. a different color. Yes, and actually, I don't know here the culture, but I found that the ring finger is really important for everyone, right? Mm -hmm. So, and the, visually, you see this color put it on the ring finger, it's better than put it on the thumb or a small one, you know? The yeah. little one, just this one, so make it even. Yeah, yeah make the, the color and the very even. So lots of people choose this way. So that is a trend that's going to stick around. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and let's talk about length. There was a time there that long nails were in, and yes. now shorter nails, mm -hmm. and then some of them have the really pointy nails. Yeah, so it's a little changing now. I just said the round shape is coming back too. Okay. Yeah, and then people not really not because typing, because our environment now is different, lots of computer works, so they like yeah. to be short, very practical. Yeah, but still, even short, still beautiful. Short yes. pastel colors, and we're seeing yes. here Cam's doing a second coat, but that's essentially all shellac is. Two coats, a top coat in the UV light, and yes. you're good to go. Yep, then you're good to go. Well, thank you so that's much, a... Kiki, for enlightening us on some of these spring trends for your nails, the perfect accessory this season. And coming up tomorrow, how to take care of your makeup bag. Your brushes could be causing some harm to your skin. What you need to do to stop that.